It's too bad he didn't have a shotgun, because that's that's what I would really like is to get a shotgun. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Ace to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to head over to uh, Trader Q, and along the way, we're going to hit cars in the wasteland and the snow um, to get a little bit more stuff to sell to Trader Q over here. And I spent uh, the rest of yesterday and all last night uh, pretty much heading <clears throat> back down... Um, this road and got all the way to here and wrenched all the cars along here. There's quite a few. And so in the mini bike here, I've got uh, all the stuff we're going to sell, except for the medical stuff we're not selling. Um, and, uh, we have some pretty good money in here. I mean, stones alone are like 1,380, but we've got like 1,200 there. We've got 1,200 there, 1,100. Uh, these are all 621. These are f almost 5,000 for all of those mechanical parts. And these electricals are 1,200. Headlamps are 13. So, yeah, we, we already have enough money just with what we have in here. But what I thought we would do is we would go through the wasteland and, um, you know, hit the cars here and loot them as well. Uh, because we have a higher, you know, loot stage uh, in the wasteland. All right. So let's start off this episode by putting Bo down. And looks like Darlene needs to be put down, too. Okay, we want to try to avoid taking damage in the wasteland or vultures will come after us. And we are just a little bit hurt there. I suppose we could stand to eat. Let's go ahead and eat and drink. I do have my glasses with me. And I have um, a pumpkin cheesecake and hopefully, Hugh will have uh, sugar butts in his um, vending machine. Okay, so we need to be really careful in the wasteland because wasteland, right? But you can see that we have a loot stage. Well, we have, we have a game stage of 221. Where's the, where does it show the loot stage? Uh, that is here, right? Yeah, 183. Let's see what we get. Okay. Let's go back into the forest for a second and just see what the loot stage is in the forest. Just out of curiosity. Fifty-eight. So yeah, it goes up by over a hundred just by entering the wasteland. So, okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, salvage and loot our way to Trader Hugh, being as careful as possible. I still have my uh, looting uh, armor on, and our wrench is going to need to be repaired here pretty soon, but I do have repair kits with me. But we'll just see what we can get away with here. We've got a Ronnie McDonnie over there. The next time our salvage tool skill pops, uh, we'll be able to make the ratchet, which will be an improvement over the wrench. I can actually make an epic or a purple wrench, but I don't want to burn a a uh, legendary kit on that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, dudes. That's nice. Um, I don't have my bow with me. I left it at home, so we'll have to com compare, but uh, that's a nice find. So we'll, we'll see how those compare. Uh, we don't want any of that shit. We're going to stay on the highway, too. I'm not going to go off into the boonies here in the wasteland. Okay. 
I saw a cop over there, so we need to stay alert. Yep, there's definitely a cop over there. Um, oh, I guess we don't have any room to store anything in the bike. Except for gas. Okay. I don't know if that's a normal cop or a feral cop. But like I said, I don't want to take any damage at all or the vultures will come after us. So we're not going to fight anyone unless we have no choice. So far, all this stuff sucks. Well, except for the crossbow. That's not true. We got a couple other good things so far, too. But I mean, in terms of something like that's really amazing, like a green crossbow. Seriously? Okay, I'm not taking the blueberry seeds. I've got a decent amount of those back home and we have to prioritize because by the time we get to here, we're going to be packed with shit. I will loot eggs, but not feathers. Okay, are you just a normal nurse Nancy or are you feral? I think she's normal. Okay. Look, we can kill her. <laughs> Plastic and mechanical parts from carts. Both very valuable items. Oh shit. Just him? Okay. Kind of sucks throwing blueberry seeds out, but have to be judicious about our space um i've got some aloe seeds back at the base so i'm gonna throw those too we're gonna harvest this guy we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the bones and i've got a uh don't i have a full stack of leather we're gonna sell i do i mean that's worth some money so we'll hang on to the leather for now but if i need to you know make space then that'll be one of the first things to go We got a big mama coming. Is she normal big or barrel big? Normal. Yes. Try and keep her from touching us. Okay. There is one of those booger guys off in the distance. We don't want to mess with him right now. another big mama and a vulture get rid of him so we don't have to worry about him attacking us right. big mama's down we cool I think so Jeez, man, what's up with all the blueberry seed? But I keep throwing away. <laughs> Cringing every time I do it. Ah, oh, well. What are these? Commando boots. 8% run speed. Medium armor. Sell price, 182. Okay. Um, much sure if I'll scrap those or sell those. I'll probably just scrap them. Okay, there's a dog over there. No! 
normal. And dead. Checking the nitrate too. Easy to get. Alright, we've got a dude here. Looks like he's a normal. Yeah, he was normal. Okay, give us something good, game. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> nice upgrade. Holy shit. All right. Uh, take those two off. This has three slots on it. And we will sell that. I like it. <laughs> Another one. Seriously? Is this one any better? No, it's actually worse. Okay, so we'll sell it. Our gas is accumulating. That's a good thing. All right, we're running out of space here. Okay. Is that better than what we have? No. So we'll sell it. I think I'm going to leave the yucca this time. Knife guy. Take that, buzzard. Okay, let's avoid that guy if we can. Nice. 42 gunpowder. Ah, uh, that's a decent amount of gunpowder. I think I'm going to take it. Okay, we're starting to drop stuff on the ground, so I think that's our sign that we're done salvaging for now. Brass radiator. Uh, we don't have normal brass. I suppose what we could do is... Let's see, that's worth 230. What is 937 brass worth? I don't know. We'll have to wait for that to finish uh, doing his thing. My guess is that it's... Well, I don't know. It could be worth more. It shouldn't be, but it could be. Okay, we're going to check these two vehicles, and then we're done for the wasteland. That was beautiful. There we go. Okay. That concludes our foray into the wasteland. So let's get the hell out of here and get over to Q. And we will have no trouble whatsoever uh, having the money to buy that blue tactical. And maybe even having enough money to buy the... Uh, he had a blue uh, steel sledgehammer, too. If we have enough money to buy that, we will. All right, let's take a look at our map here. Yeah, we just need to turn right and head north. So let's do it. I'm still going to look inside these cars because we could find something amazing. And if we do, we'll have to give something up. There's a snake over there. Okay, we'll leave the mushroom in there. Put 
him down. And, you know, if you insist... Might as well keep hitting these tires. Plastic is worth quite a bit of money, as a matter of fact. Uh, case in point, all of that plastic is worth... Look at that. Jesus, how much money that stuff's worth. In fact, can we... Oh, I should have done that from the get-go. We actually have four more spaces. Okay. Um. Well, let's just wrench any new cars from here on out. Well, let's say whole cars, not the partials, because the whole cars give us gas, among other things. Take both of that. What are we dropping? Oh, man, I don't want to drop electrical parts. Hold on, what? What did I do? Just get, like, a bunch of batteries or something? Oh, yeah, we were going to look at this. Okay, so one stack of brass that was from scrapping five radiators is worth 427 Oh, my God. That's, like, worth twice as much. Holy shit. Okay. We're scrapping radiators, ladies and gentlemen. Totally scrapping radiators. I'm looking at that right, right? We get 937. 427 coin versus 230. Why is that? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, we definitely want the electrical parts because those are also worth a lot of money. So radiators get scrapped from now on. Actually, here. Let's do the full stack. All right. Let's go over and check this car here. We'll take both of those. I only have one slot, so I think what we'll do is we, we won't scrap anymore. That way we have a slot in case we find something good. This is a little bit off the beaten path, but we're going to grab it anyway because it's not... Oh, we got two. Okay, I just got to make sure I don't get too greedy here. Get too far out in the boonies and we could get ourselves into trouble. Uh, no, not that. Why there's animal fat inside of a vehicle is beyond me, but there was. Keeping one slot open in case we find something amazing. And actually, let's do this again, too. We're keeping more than one slot open in case we find something amazing. I think, though, the green crossbow is probably the star of the show in terms of the loot that we found so far. That's going to be, well, is that going to be worth selling? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, nuts. I don't want to do that. That's going to damage our bike. Final car of the wasteland. Final two cars of the wasteland. Wait, what? I don't know. 
and stay down. Uh, crawler. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's be careful not to damage our bike here. I mean, I'm starting to accumulate a few more repair kits, but... Don't want to overdo it either, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> totally hitting the wrong buttons here. There's a bear over there. Oh, and a dog. What the fuck? Wow. Every other time I've shot a small bear, I've one-shot him. Why not that time? I don't know. Can't explain it. Hey, good. We got a testosterone. All right. So you guys are still... Yeah, we're going to make some bank on that brass, man. For sure. Okay, we are done in the wasteland. We're going to still loot, but we're not going to salvage. Two tires. Wow, that was generous. Three tires. Even more generous. Fucking snow biomes better than the wasteland. So, let's do this. We want those two things, and I think we want that. This is... Let's scrap this. That wrench is really not worth a whole lot, but we'll hang on to it if we can. Probably won't. Oh, shit. I'm not as worried about getting a little bit hurt now because there's no vultures in the snow biome. Holy shit, dude. Really? Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> okay. We need to make room for three things. I'm not going to read the treasure map here because... Well, I guess we could. We could hit it on the way back. Oh. Yeah, we should be scrapping these things, huh? Okay, let's put these batteries in there. And that gives us room for our three slots. Okay, we'll take that. I'm not going to worry about the hop seat. Um, what can we put that on? We could... Can we put it on here? Yeah, I th actually, I think we can put it on there. This is our best blue knife, right? Oh, no, this one's actually better. Okay. Uh, so we'll go modify. Take those two off. Oh, really? We can't put a burning shaft on a Kniffy, huh? Oh, that sucks. Um, Then let's put it on our wrench. We can't do that either. Shit. I uh, guess we'll have to put it on here just to make room. All right, what do we got in here? Nice. We got Larry.
Mary. What time is it? Oh, we need to... It's actually starting to get a little bit late, isn't it? We should probably just skedaddle at this point. Yeah, let's just go. I mean, we're completely loaded up. And it is getting late, he says, as he stops to check yet another car because he can't help himself. Uh. And a tire, too. See, it's, it's really a good idea for me to be checking these cars because they will... They'll respawn after seven days, right? And uh, in case we don't get back up here before seven more days, then yeah. If we don't make it. Uh, if we don't make it to Hue by 1800, then we're going to just go straight there. 1800s are cut off. I guess I must have already looked inside of these vehicles. Because they're opening immediately. And they all kind of have shitty stuff in them. Or nothing really amazing. This one we never looted. in there. I'd like to take both of those, but no room. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, we want to go this way. Boom, headshot. Looks like those are all bones. All right, we're like totally jammed up here. Um... What we need, though, is we need to see... We need room for sugar butts. So let's put you in there. I'm going to sell this whole stack of brass. I know that's going to kill some of you <clears throat> because you have such a hard time finding brass in the end game. But, you know, honestly, I, I never really have had a hard time finding brass in the end game. It's just seem to not be a problem. I know it can be, but uh, we'll turn that into duct tape. Okay, so that gives us enough room to... Wait, where's this vending machines? Dude, where's your vending machines? Oh, they're out here, I think. Please have a sugar butts. Ha ha ha. Spy sugar butts. Okay, so here's the deal. We are going to consume this. We're going to consume that. We're going to wear this and notice it has the cigar in it. And let's make some money. What you shooting today? <laughs> this isn't charity. Pay okay. up or pay the consequences. Okay, 3,000 coin right there. Um, let's w hold off on that. We're going to sell the headlamps. We're going to sell... Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to sell those. We're going to sell this. He doesn't want it. We're going to sell these two blue knives. I should Happy probably trails. repair those, huh? Happy hunting. Except for waiting on all that shit. Okay. Well, let's put the map down there. 
Okay, let's get the mechanical parts, the headlamps, the springs, the stones, and the cash next. See the goods, not the eye. Fifteen hundred for it. a stack of stone. That's pretty damn good. A full stack of springs, twenty-eight. We'll hang on to those other springs now. 8,231 for all those mechanicals. Oh, my God. I've And I still have some back of the base, too. This isn't everything, but that is a chunk of change. We're already up to 20,000. Okay, 1,900 for the lamps. Um, it'd probably be worth this to good use repairing that, too. Heads. Or... Some of those white river freaks think Joel's gear will save White you. river freaks, huh? Not from what I'm selling. Um, let's sell the engines to him because I've got plenty of those. And uh, he can have that. Helping the dead stay dead. Kay. One customer are at a time. Almost done. Then we'll repair some of these other tools before we sell them. Here, let's uh, sort that. Okay, so we want to sell that, that, all of those nine mils, because I've got plenty. All of this plastic, all of that, all of those. We're making some bank, ladies and gentlemen. Trust Jen's remedies. I'd rather trust a Zed head for a hug. Okay, he doesn't want those. 4,000 for that plastic. 1200 for a full stack of oil. I think we'll keep the other oil. Um, 800 for the springs. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and sell the iron to him as well. And more brass. Sure. More leather. Sure. Now you're armed and dangerous. Okay, Just like so um, we're going to go ahead and repair this and this and this and this. I don't think the other things are worth repairing to burn a repair kit at this point. I mean, they might be, but in my particular situation, no. So we get 232 for that. Oh, he doesn't want another one. Okay. He doesn't want that. You want this? Yeah, he'll take that. The shovel. Oh, he doesn't want it anyway. Okay. Keep it coming. I'm planning to, man. Okay. Now, um, we'll sell. I've already sold him a couple of batteries. I don't remember how many for sure I've sold. Um, he might might buy that. Everything guaranteed to nope. make you feel like fourteen hundred for all that leather, twenty thousand or twenty two thousand rather for all those electricals, and sell those batteries. Okay, he doesn't want those. I think I'll hang on to the rest of that oil. He doesn't want those. Uh, what about this? Okay, so we have, look at all the money we have, you guys. That's amazing. That's the most money we've ever had. Okay, so now what we're going to do, while well, we still have our buffs, um, we don't have a lot of time left, is we want to buy, uh, let's go to weapons. We want to buy this, uh, where the hell is it? This, tactical assault rifle. Boom. And we still have plenty of coin left over, so we're going to buy a blue steel sledgehammer. Boom. And we still have a shit ton of coin. <laughs> um, what else do we want to buy? We could buy the machete. I still kind of prefer the hunting knife, though. It's too bad he didn't have a shotgun, because that's that's what I would really like is to get a shotgun. Uh, what do you have for tools? Hmm. <clears throat> Not really anything I would want. Okay. He's got a forge. She's got some shotgun turrets.
Yeah, I think I think that's all. God, man, those things are expensive, aren't they? Jeez Louise. Jeez Louisa. Yeah. No, I, I think we're going to hang on to the rest of our, our coin, which is significant. So that way, you know, when a nice shotgun does pop up. I hope you put this to good use. We have it. Kill some Zed heads. But. Or some of those White River freak shows. Look at this, man. So what's the comparison? Yeah, so it's 21.1 points better in both normal attack and power attack than this guy. So that's a nice upgrade for us. Definitely worth all of our efforts. And we will put those on. And we even have another slot we could put something in. Um, yeah, we'll have to figure out what the other slot is for that. And this is the big prize. Look at this. Let's do a comparison of these two. Oh, yeah, look at that. 20.9 more damage. 45 more rounds per minute, more range, more durability. Side magazine size, though, but we could put a... Well, we got the drum magazine on here, so let's modify this. Take those two out. And put those two in, and we have two more slots. We could figure something else out for those. And now... 74.1... Super nice upgrade. Hell yeah. You know, we've got that, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got the, uh, whatchamacallit, the reflex sight on that 44. And I, I, I used that 44 in the last episode, if you guys remember, and it it didn't do much. Um, I'm going to scrap this. I know it's worth a little bit of money, but I'm going to scrap it and use it for uh, to make ourselves a steel pick because we could use the steel parts. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. This is our new green machine, baby. Hell yeah. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Um, so, yeah. We still, even after all those expenditures, we're still walking away with 26,508 coin. That is amazing. And we still have a few more things we can sell to, you know, maybe some of the other traders, but... I think we're finished here. And so the plan is to go back home. What day is it? It's day 33. Tomorrow, um, Wrecked will reset. And we'll sell the rest of this stuff to him. And maybe we'll luck out and he'll have a nice shotgun. And, um... Then uh, probably just get back to doing some more jobs. I think that's what the plan is. And then, of course, Horde uh, 35 will be upon us after that. I got a little more work I want to do on the Horde base, but I'll do, of course, take care of all of that off camera. So that's going to wrap up this episode here. I'll probably just go ahead and salvage my way back home. And then uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, shout out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, cop car. Did we do this cop car last time? We didn't. Let's see what's in here. We got a Larry working his way over here. Let's deal with Larry first. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn, son. This has been a good day. See ya.